morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Steph. That is Chris. It is early, early Thursday morning. Thursday. Wow, it's early. Ooh. Let me start out by saying congratulations to the Legend softball team. We did lose one game during the season, and we will lose next Thursday's game because... Thursday? Our next Tuesday's game because we have heard through the grapevine. We wrapped up the championship. We have one game to play. We are not showing up because we are that dang good. We are the champions. But for the last three weeks. We should do a little plug in of the, of the song, We Are the Champions. I should, we should do that next Tuesday's show. For three, the last three weeks, we've been after Tuesday night. We go to crickets for a little just gathering, have fun, drink just a couple of beers. A just started this three weeks ago. And Tuesday night, because this is Thursday's show, Tuesday night, the Ferris said, man, I can't make it. I got to get up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. And I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. Ferris showed up, and we left that place at what time? 2 o'clock? 1.30? About 1.30. Oh, yeah. We left their place 1.30. We did lose in the shuffleboard, me and Sheriff uh, Ferris to Stephanie and Chris. Yeah, baby. Ferris Whoop said he was going to stay awake, make it to work on Wednesday at 5 a.m. He did not stay awake. He was an hour late, but his boss thought it was funny. <laughs> we, I, had, I had fun. And kudos to Ferris, who has now moved up the ladder in my book as the number one Red Sea fan. Oh, very nice. I'm very throwing that nice. out there till another fan shows up. I'm with you. I am too. I'm Had to be at work at you. 5 o'clock, and he made it. Ferris, sign. He almost made it. Yeah, he almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he made it to cricket. <laughs> that was fun, though. That was really fun, especially when we beat you on shuffleboard. That was even more fun. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Heather Locklear is arrested. Yeah, she she's like maybe maybe she needs to hire a driver or something because it's a this misdemeanor. Is the second time. Why, why do they take you to jail for a misdemeanor? Why not just go? Mm, here's your ticket. You're gonna have to pay for the damages. Why would she leave after hitting a parking sign? I don't know, but they had. Do you think it's one of those things that she hit it? And went, God, I hit something. She looks around, and maybe yeah, that, that thing was in her blind spot. Yeah. And she went, I guess it was nothing. No. Oh. Hmm? No. We. I saw a picture of her car. She knew she hit oh, it. Oh, okay. She, all right. Yeah. I'm not no, sure. No, she Let me knew just she take hit that it. statement back. And um, it was really early in the morning. It was like almost 3 o'clock in the morning when she hit it. Okay, so now we know why she drove so, off. So, yeah, so there may have been some alcohol involved there. So, Loser. But, I mean, you know, they didn't arrest her until All right, the next so, day. So. so, is it smart that she drove off? I'm not I'm not saying you should. Oh, okay, yeah, I Me? get what you're saying. I'm driving off at if 3 you're, in the morning. If you're drunk yes. and you yeah. hit it, now you're going to get drinking. Because yeah. she got in trouble, what, two years ago for DUI? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm driving so off you, going. So you look around. There's no cars around. All you hit was a parking deal. I'll take the deal, yeah. You go, hmm, if I drive off, they're going to get me for yeah. not a DUI. So, but just a, just a misdemeanor hit and run. Yeah. I don't know if I would have speed out, peeled out like you just did, but I, I probably would have drove on off. <laughs> you peeled out. I, I feel bad, though, man. She... Uh, Jeez. Celebrities and drinking. Yeah. I, I, that's right. why I stopped at, at 14 beers last night. Yeah. Well, you didn't have to worry because you wasn't driving. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. speaking of driving and drinking and doing things you're not supposed to, Ben Roethlisberger suspended six games. Now, the official, it, it's official, right? He did yeah. come official. out saying. But did you find out if that was preseason? I have not heard that, <laughs> that include preseason. Mm -hmm. I don't think it does because Pac-Man, I, I can't say that. I thought Pac-Man or somebody got suspended two games or maybe it was Tank Johnson and he got to play. He played the preseason and then missed the – I'm not sure. I don't know, but not having your quarterback six games is huge. Huge. They say they want to trade him. Who would want you if 
you still have to sit out six games. Right. Why would you give up a first round pick to get a well right a now quarterback that can't play for you? Right. Dan Rooney, or is it Art Rooney? Art is not happy because he holds the Steelers in a high. You know, when you play for me, you do not get in trouble. That's the reason San they Antonio got rid Holmes. of San Antonio home. And he oh, is yeah. he is very upset. So this could be a big deal that we're like you said we were saying at lunch. Hey, you know what? I got plenty of money. I want to win. You're gone. And like I told you at lunch yesterday, the Steelers don't have to pay Ben Roethlisberger, but the NFL finds them that pay. Yeah. So they that still money. have to write that check to somebody. It's it not goes. like they get off free. Right. So they get punished as well. How many preseason games are there? Four. Four. Usually and they're four. thinking about adding and another one thinking about, aren't they? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Or though they're taking one away because they say nobody plays the la- uh, the the they're going to play three. They would take one away. Well, I, he, Gerald made a point. Man, how can he wasn't even he not even guilty? He's not even guilty. How can he get in trouble if he is not even guilty? And I think the conduct uh, statement came on there, and it said it's. It, and Megan was saying the same thing. What is the conduct deal? It's just like the school having their own policy yep. of you can't make this school look bad. Right. Even though you get in trouble outside the school, we can still punish you inside the school. It's right. the exact same thing. The NFL says you cannot make us look bad. And Roger Cadell, kudos to you, my friend, I because tell you, what, you have laid mm-hmm. it down. I really did not think it would be that many games. I doubt that is so cool. But he ain't kidding right. All those naysayers going, well, he's the star quarterback with Roger Goodell don't give a crap. That's right. Yeah. White, black, quarterback, receiver, lineman, he don't care. He did Pac-Man Jones. He did Santonio Holmes. He did Tank Johnson. He did Ben Roethlisberger. He did Matt Jones. But the all those guys were tested positive. And felonies. And had felonies. And six games, and you made us look, and you made us look bad again. It That's could, over you know, the it season. Could, it could be the second. You think it was because of the second time? Oh, yeah, because yeah, they didn't do it yeah. the first time. Because the first time he just he didn't get in, you know you didn't get in trouble by the law. So maybe maybe they did that girl did to try to get your money, but maybe almost kind of like the the first. It was kind of a warning, but then yeah, they maybe. they laid it on it. I got a question. Got an answer. We don't have to go get tested to see if we're Oprah's dad, correct? No, nah, because she's older than us. Older than us. So we could have slept with her mom after. Afterwards, right. Okay. But, but okay. not Oprah's right. daddy. So <clears throat> Oprah don't know who her daddy is? No, she's been raised by her, she was raised by her mom and, oh. um, and never... You know, never knew of who her dad was. So apparently, there's a couple of men that are coming out saying that they want Oprah to do a DNA test. Okay, Oprah is between fifty and sixty. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Why the hell would she care? That's that's exactly what she says. She's yeah. refusing it. She's like, I'm not yeah, going to do you, it. You, you know, weren't there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and to just that. put your name next to mine. Screw you. She um she even made this uh, comment and it was something like, um, oh so you're gonna call me and say you know you uh, you want a paternity test to see if you're my daddy just so you could, I could put a roof on your house or something like that. It was it was just good funny. job, Oprah. Like, no, thank you. I don't need it. <laughs> I, I haven't. Right. I haven't. You know, she's been living for this this long, not knowing who <clears throat> it is. Who she's been now? struggling as a. As a poor child without a father. Yeah, okay. Right. She don't need you, dude. Yeah, yeah she's she good. She don't need you. And why now? Yeah. Why not when she was only worth, you know, $17 billion? Yeah. I know. I don't know. Right. But this guy, I guess he... There's one particular guy that's been trying since last year. He's 82. And, um, you know, she keeps refusing and he keeps attempting. And she's like, listen, it's not going to happen. He's like, dude, I'm about to die. Yeah, I, I really wouldn't understand that. So, when you go through town, you go through St. Louis.